What's up guys? How are you? I hope you are doing good, doing fine and you are practicing Qigong movements that we learned before. So today we come back again with two new movements which will be helpful for your shoulder joint and that will reduce your shoulder pain and any kind of problems with your shoulder joint. And these movements especially for the people who has the stiffness of the shoulder. So in our last video we showed two movements for the wrist joint and to reduce the painful conditions of your finger. Okay, so to practice this move, first of all, we have to stand like this way. You have to spread your both hand outwards and you will be standing like this, okay? And then you slowly, then you slowly move your hand like this. It's kind of wave movement, okay? And you will try to connect both shoulder with this movement slowly and steadily. If you do this, you will wave your both shoulder and in this way you can reduce your shoulder pain and also you can reduce the stiffness of your shoulder. Okay. If you just practice it for two to five minutes per day, that can reduce your shoulder stiffness. You can do it in either ways, like from left to right, okay? The wave will come from the left side and it will go to the right. And also you can practice it from the right to left. The wave will come from right side and then it will go to left like this. So, spread your both hand like this and then just simply wave it and simply wave them like this way, okay? So, this one is the first move for the shoulder stiffness and the shoulder pain. So, if you see the side by side, it will look like this. This is very simple movement, okay? And from this way, left to right, right to left, right to left, left to right. Again, from the front, close shot. Okay, after practicing two to five minutes, you will feel the pain starting to reduce. So now we will practice the second move for the shoulder pain. For this, you have to stand like this way and then both hand, you have to make a triangle like this. Okay, with your finger, you touch your, the tip of the acromion process of your scapula okay or the lateral head of your clavicle in this way you have to hold and you will be touching your shoulder joint with your finger then you have to move your both hand towards in front okay you will simply just rotate your shoulder. Try to touch the lateral side of your chest with your both hand, okay, like this way. And try to make a full rotation, okay. You can move it towards in front or towards backward, towards backward. If you see it closely, it will be like this. So first put your finger on your shoulder, then rotate in front. Rotate the both hand in front and try to touch your lateral side of your chest with the 
both hand okay and you can move it towards front or towards back when you are tired when you will feel tired moving in front you can move back okay but try to do it slowly okay if you see it in lateral side in side by side it will be like this in front rotating in front and rotating backward rotating backward so in this way you will feel like exercising whole hand okay whole hand but if you do like this way it will not feel like that okay the the stimulation the function is not like the similar if you do it by touching your shoulder with your finger tip of your fingers so this is the move the second move okay so we have learned already how to reduce pain for the back and also reduce pain for the wrist and fingers and today we learned how to reduce painful and stiffness conditions of your shoulder joint so i hope you will practice it if you have the same problem you can practice it in your home you can practice it outside i hope you will like it you will share and if you practice it for a few days let me know in the comment section that how you felt after practicing 10 to 15 days i hope your painful conditions and stiffness of your shoulder will be completely removed after 15 to 20 days of practicing so that's all for today thank you for watching